Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so before I left the chiropractor just now, I was, uh, there was a guy that came in with his uh, his wife or sister, or I don't know, a lady. I think it was his wife. Uh, I need some tea. And um, he had on a, a Jesus shirt, but it had on, it was also like on the American flag, so that's real cool. But uh, they're like, I oh, will see you around, I'm sure. I never met him before. But my uh, my um, back doctor has tons of patients. Um, let's see a Pepsi spot. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not hungry. But anyway, uh, that was awesome. But because of the condition of my back I've got to go twice a week instead of once a month or I think yeah I think it was supposed to be once a week and they just he moved it up to twice a week because everything's so screwed up um but he's going to get me a lift there um which obviously doing all that back and forth it's paying housing stuff and the cat's food and litter and all that obviously takes priority over um over that um, but all the glory to God that's just uh, another prime example of uh, God putting you in the right place at the right time and when uh, God's um, hooking you up with a good situation it's up for you to accept or deny it because uh Winning the long game with God is the road less traveled. As Robert Frost said, I think, in that poem. I went to Robert Frost Middle School over in uh, the hood, over near Valley Station, Louisville, Kentucky, and it's the most ratchet, most ghetto. Actually, I had a, um, I almost said a coworker, I had a classmate, her name was Epiphany. And she was always trying to get me to go into the bathroom with her. I just, I was, I was been wanting to say that, and I just didn't have a good transition. And I, I thought about that randomly, like a little, like over the over time. But that's to, that's to give you an example of how how wild it was. And our homework was reading a newspaper in the morning, and then start a class, and nobody did that. So there was no um, education at all. So ironically, you're in a sc you're in school, but you're not learning nothing. You're learning how to talk to girls, talk to guys. Not even talking, doing more than talking with girls and guys in your class, your classmates. You should be being a kid, and you're being an adult. And that's what it's like in the hood, the trap, the slum, the trailer park, the sticks, anywhere that's a bad. See, people get stuck up on. My black family and this and that. It's always it's always the hood. That, that's irrelevant. That's just a a, a, a term. It's any area that there's a bad situation where you don't have the correct tools to do good in life or give yourself the best chance. Even if turns out somebody turns out to be a bad seed, at least you gave yourself the best opportunity. And that's what we gotta do for our kids. And our kids literally are the future because when we get old and dying and this and that, they're going to be the ones to take care of us. They're going to be the doctors, the lawyers, the politicians, the McDonald's people, Sam's Club, the Walmart, the everything. So take care of your damn kids and they're proud to come through here and bust your sack to get here for me with knowledge, not physically, but verbally. But daddy's home. I'm in the building. I usually said like I never left, but I did leave. Hi, baby girl. Hi, mommy. Say hi. What's up, sweet face? Oh, Joker. Hi, baby. Hi, Eno. Daddy kiss. How many kiss daddy? What? No kiss daddy, Eno? Hi, baby girl. Say, where you been at? Why you smell like all these people? That heifer, that heifer, what the hell? Damn it, I'm gonna whoop that bitch. 
My name Harley Quinn, I'm for Roses. I'ma whoop that bitch. Who you been sweeping? Who you been around? Give me kissing, y'all. There we go. The headbutt, that's how you put your head down. That's how cats say hello. Joker, give me a kiss, you know. Hey. What's going on, you know? Now he's gonna give me a kiss. He's just playing. Give me a kiss. One kiss, daddy. Here we go. There's my Eno baby. Okay. That's my baby. Daddy baby. Eno baby. Mm -hmm. I love you, son. That's my baby. When we got Harley. Hi, baby girl. Say hi. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, I took that tail. Daddy stole your tail. Hi, sweet baby. Hi, mama. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, Harley doesn't like all that super lovey-dovey stuff as much as Joker. Sometimes she does, but sometimes she doesn't. I'll turn this heater on. If you got heaters, I got this cord thing on it, but if you got heaters, make sure you turn them off. Um... When you leave the house, all your stuff, preferably, but anything that, like, especially something like that. And if it's like a fan or lamp or, well, you shouldn't have a lamp on if you're not in the house, but if it's like a fan or whatever, then, um, fix my pants. Um, just make sure they get it. It's not where they can get to it, which you say that about a cat. Sometimes you can't really do that, but... Anyway, see so I got little nooks and crannies here. They love that, their tunnel. But I think I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that crate under there and keep their tunnel out for them. Yeah. I got fresh fruit and waters. We're in the building. God is good. How often? All the time. All the time. All the time. Let's go. Like I said, I'm live on Twitch. And um, I'm making this goal to buy this Mythic Firek mount, which I sold this weapon for 583,000 gold, as you can see right there, which was wild. It's worth 290. And if you're making gold, um, pay attention. If you're on a lot of, like if you're a, a goblin, a gold making person in WoW, or just a gold making person in WoW, or if you're new to it, pay attention to when you post something that how often something sells. Because as I was on this server the last three days, like last 22 hours, oh wait a minute, let me go to auction. last 24 hours that stuff is sold all that stuff right there a lot of its recipes so pay attention to what sells but anyway i'm out y'all throw a follow throw a like if you're new to the channel i do wow stuff every day you can check out my gofundme link if you want to know about my um health issues but i have many but i'm totally disabled so this is what i do and uh things are going good and shout out to my uh, my Twitch followers. Um, I couldn't really see them too well. I don't have the like the interface all the way set up on my OBS on Twitch. Hold on, let me. The only reason why I got this this stand here is so I don't have to hold the phone. It's just. See, when I get focused on something, y'all know how I do. I have really bad OCD about some things, but not about everything. But it doesn't matter. We're all kind of OCD in a way, but people that actually have OCD, it's not like a laughable thing or whatever. How do you go to, where do you go to your followers? Community? I don't know why it says viewers and then there's it says two viewers but there's more than one viewer on the thing I don't know I don't know I don't know whatever I'm not 
I'm not gonna try to figure it out because it hurts my head too much. So that's why I say if you're in the thing, just to say something because I'm not gonna. And plus, with my brain disease, I can't sit there and say, "Hey, every five seconds, there's somebody, or is everybody in chat, or anybody watching?" Like, just just say hello, and it's easier that way for me. But I will start shouting out new followers if I can figure out how to get to the damn channel. Because it said June 22, 21. Two more followers, I have my goal of 3.30. Shout out to my boy Kyle Switching Gage. Throw him a follow. I've earned 6.93 from the last week. Oh, I didn't even know that. I can't find it. Well, thank you to the people that followed recently everywhere, especially on Twitch in the last week. I saw y'all on there, so I can't find your name, but I know that you followed, so I appreciate it, and then I'm out. <laughs>